One of her fellow commissioners, I guess, empathized a little, Mark Schulk, because he came to her defense. My observation of Chair Smith is that she is truly concerned about every single citizen in this county. I think those of you who might have some concerns right now, I think in the next few weeks, you're going to be much more uh, relaxed and and assured that the Board of Commissioners is on the right track. Let's all just relax. And it, you know, it is interesting, though, that you would come swooping in like that, Commissioner Shaw. And if you were hoping to deflect some of that negative attention from Tootie Smith, you succeeded because uh, it looks like there's now a new problem with the Board of Commissioners and it involves you because one of your constituents dug up some pretty racist and Islamophobic Facebook posts and now Muslim community leaders want you to resign. Let's have Tim Gordon break it down for us. This is Mark Scholl in a picture from his campaign website. The Iraq War veteran is a brand new Clackamas County Commissioner. His Facebook page is shut down now, but not before the inflammatory posts were saved last week. A person who lives in Clackamas County with ties to the local Democratic Party compiled them. Chris Waller says she made it her personal mission to investigate concerns she had about Scholl. And so I checked, and he did. And I immediately was aghast at what I saw. What Waller saw were many Islamophobic statements, including Islam is in total conflict with America, with the Constitution and with the Christian values upon which the USA was founded. And when you interact with a Muslim, you're being deceived, period, end of sentence. Scholl also takes on immigrants and the Black Lives Matter movement, too. Writing, BLM is not about black lives mattering or any other life mattering. BLM is a pawn for the rise of neo-Marxism. When you say you were astonished when you saw it all, in what way were you astonished? That anybody who is a public official could put forth these types of views. You mentioned teachers are in phase 1B. Today, the only camera Scholl would go in front of was the one at a board of commissioners meeting. He did release a statement saying in part, I apologize for any concerns in the community related to my comments years ago about problems with integration of Islam into Western society. I respect the freedom of religion that extends to members of the Islamic community as well as to all religious beliefs. It's important to note that the offensive posts you see here are not from years ago, but from the past couple of years, including from 2020. I'm shocked. I'm disappointed. Um, just reading through those comments, it's hard to get through. It is very triggering. It is very hateful and bigoted. The Council on American Islamic Relations in Oregon has seen enough. Sahar Muranovich says words have consequences, especially in these troubling times. Have, we absolutely think he needs to resign. Um, if he doesn't resign, um, the other commissioners need to take some sort of action. Okay, Tim Gordon joining us now. Tim, quick question. There was supposed to be a round table with the commissioners tonight to discuss these Facebook posts. Did that happen? No, it did not happen. Dan Tootie Smith, the chair, uh, she canceled it so that she could work on a statement. She's come out with one now. And it says in part, I want to assure residents that I in no way condone or agree with these offensive statements. They do not reflect my values. Such statements are an attack on human dignity and have no place in government. Our role as commissioners is to serve residents, build trust, and create a safe and private community for all residents. Bigoted statements by elected officials undermine that work and trust. Okay. Uh, she did stop short of calling on him to resign. Is, is anybody calling on him to give up his seat? Yeah, she did. And we haven't heard from any of the Clackamas County commissioners publicly on that issue of resignation for Shoal. But we have heard from a Multnomah County Commissioner Sushila Jayapal is calling for Shoal's rec uh, resignation. She says uh, she describes Shoal's rhetoric as racist, Islamophobic, anti-immigrant, and homophobic as well, and she wants him to resign immediately. Right. And back. Yeah, Tim Gordon, I know you'll keep following this story for us. Let us know what happens. You bet.